Welcome to Course of Course and Glenn's Summer Camp Challenges. I'm Diane and I'm going to give you five challenges. I'm also going to give you options of how to make them a little bit more difficult, but remember that they are challenges so you don't want to do them too easy. This is a sheet that you can download so you can record how well you're doing and you can put a little picture of, of you doing the challenge. If you want to share your pictures or videos with us, we'd love to see them, but make sure that you get permission from your parent or carer first. Before you start any of the challenges, again, check with your parent or carer, make sure that it's okay for you to do the challenge and get them to check the area where you're going to be working just to make sure it's safe so that you don't hurt yourself or anybody else and so that we don't damage anything, especially when we're working indoors if we're using balls. Hi everyone, welcome to day four of Course We're Coursing Glen Summer Camp Challenge. Today is a sprint challenge and again it's best done outside if you're able to. Make sure that you have your parent carer's permission to do the challenge. Make sure that it's the area that you're going to be working in is nice and safe. We're going to be doing it on the grass, but again, if you're a wheelchair user, it'd be better on a nice hard surface. All you need today for today's challenge is two cones and somebody to tie you. Hi everybody, welcome back to Causeway Coast and Glen Summer Camp Challenge. This is day four, and I have Alicia with me to help demonstrate the challenge. Okay, so today is a speed challenge, and you need two cones. Um, if you haven't got cones, you can use anything else. You can use tins of beans any kind of marker, just something to mark the, the difference. So we've got the cones starting off about three meters apart, okay, and Alicia's gonna run between them and I'm gonna time her. Okay, so you ready, Alicia? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready, go. That's it, and back again. Okay, I think you can do faster than that though, but this time I want you to touch the top of the cone with your hand. Okay, so you ready? Go. Fast as you can go, touch the cone, back again. Good, I still think you can do it really, really fast. Go on, one more time. Go, really, really fast. Go. Well done. Okay, so that was challenge number four. Hope you enjoyed doing it. The main challenge for this one, because it's a speed challenge, is just how fast you can do it. But if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you could move the cones a little bit further apart. We had them around about three meters apart today. You could put them a little bit further, so you have to run that little bit farther. Hope you had fun today. Have fun practicing the challenge. Make sure you're keeping a record of how well you're doing. If you want to share any pictures or videos with us, make sure that you get parents' permission or carers' permission before you, you share them and stay safe, keep washing those hands, make sure you're keeping that two meter distance when you're out and about, stay connected with family and friends, and enjoy, have fun, bye.